In today's video, we're gonna learn how to manifest anything with the 369 method. We can thank our good old buddy, Nicholas Tesla for this one. Nicholas Tesla said, if you only knew the magnificence of the numbers three, six, and nine, you would have the key to the universe. While creating this video, I personally wanted to look into why these numbers were so important. So I came across an article that really articulated the significance and magnificence of these numbers. I don't want to butcher it, so I'll leave a link down below for those of you that want to learn more about the mathematics behind the numbers three, six, and nine. But long story short, these three numbers make up the foundation of the universe. And we as humans have evolved or used it to develop a method that allows us to manifest our thoughts into the physical. This method has a lot of power behind it. Collectively, we have created an egregore or a thought cloud surrounding this method that makes it even more powerful. This technique went viral about a year ago and because of that, we can now use the energy that is surrounding and infused within this technique from all of the people that have already tried it and have already had success with it, we can tap into the belief that it does work because it has worked. There's actual proof now. And you know how much our human brains need proof in order to fully believe in something. So now that we have that, we can let go of doubt because this technique has been proven time and time again to be a successful manifestation method. Now let's get to the heart of it. How do we actually do this? So there are two different ways that you can do this depending on your lifestyle. I've tried both and they both work, but I prefer one over the other. And I'll tell you why when we get to it. So the first way is gonna be done in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. You're gonna get a pen and paper. Why does that have to be a pen and paper? Because writing with a pen and paper is a form of manifestation within itself. Just by doing this, you have already brought your desire into the physical world. It starts with a thought and as we write out our desire, it becomes a part of our physical reality. And that's all manifestation really is. You're gonna write out your manifestation as if it has already happened. It's already manifested. I am so happy and grateful because dot dot dot. I am feeling on top of the world and I could not be more grateful because dot dot dot. You need to get detailed with how you are truly feeling now that this has manifested for you. We're living in the end. It is super, super, super important that you are feeling these emotions as you are writing them. Emotion is energy in motion and that is going to align us to our desire so we can manifest it that much faster. You are going to write the same sentence that evokes these emotions out of you three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times at night. This is just a bonus tip, but something else that you could do is put on Hertz music that is aligned with whatever you're trying to manifest and take a couple minutes to visualize before and leave it on as you write out your sentences. Just search Hertz music on YouTube and find the right frequency that you wanna tune into and you'll receive your manifestation like that. Now the second way is my preferred way because I would always forget to write down my sentences in the afternoon. And I also like to do it in one sitting, either in the morning or at night or sometimes both, whatever you feel called to do. You're gonna do everything that I stated before, writing with emotion, living in the end, put on music and visualize first if that's something that helps you get into alignment. But the outline of what you'll be writing is a little different. You're gonna write what you're manifesting in one word three times. Then you're gonna write a complete detailed sentence of what you want six times. And then you're gonna write how you feel now that you have it nine times. This worked a lot better for me because I felt like it was complete once I finished it. I didn't have to remember anything throughout the day and it allowed me to fully let go throughout the day, which brings me to my final step, which is to let go and allow. Once you're done writing with Either method, it is now out of your hands. You did everything you could do. It is now the universe's turn to deliver. But the universe can only deliver if you allow it to. All you have to do is focus on you, focus on your day, stay present in the moment, practice gratitude to the universe for taking on the task of bringing this desire into your life. You don't need to worry about 
how, why, when, or where. That's not your concern and it's not your problem. We're just grateful that it's happening. So that brings us to the end of this video. And I know some of you are gonna ask how many days you need to do this. And the, the answer is different for everybody. Just do it until you feel solid in the belief that you are going to experience it. So with that being said, if you wanna start right now and write out in the comments your first three sentences, I would love to read them and see what everybody's manifesting. If not, that's okay too. Either way, I love you guys and I will be back with another video very, very soon. Bye.